Hi and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to learn about comparator function. So let's start from the new project. Create new project, edit FBS, it's 14 MA I have so I'm going to select this PLC here. Alright. So what comparator is? Uh, a comparator means uh, whenever I have to compare or we have to compare two values and want to operate uh, the third value. So we will compare two values here. For example, I have two, two counter here. Let me put counter x0 and and here is x1 terminal I have. Alright, so let me select counter which is C0 and it's preset. Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, and uh, preset value is 10. And here we have another, P, uh, another counter which is our. Oh, Here is X1 and the counter is C1 here we have and 12 is a preset value for this counter. Alright. So here I'm going to use uh, I'm going to compare the both values and uh, by uh, with uh, I'm sorry I'm going to compare the both values by using comparator function. Uh, so here when I will go to function click here right this box will appear uh, in your screen so when you click this compare function and this first one CMP it's actually comparison when you will put your mouse here this will written appear this will appear written that it's comparison function click OK and now what they are asking about uh, the values SA means the value A and value B um, because in comparison of anything we must have two or more than two things to compare uh, both of the things so here I'm going to use uh, for example I'm saying that please compare my counter number 0 to counter number 1 right counter number 0 to counter number 1 I can use timers as well as here I can use data register as well here so in this program I'm using counter for example and I'm saying that please compare my counter number 0 to counter number 1 here is I've clicked on OK and now here are some functions I have in this comparison box because EN is input so we have input directly or we can use here input terminal which is our X2 alright it's our switch of comparator now what they are saying here there are three outputs we have because these sections are actually output sections and these are actually input section in every terminal in every function so here what they are saying um, it is actually saying me when a will become equal to b what output you would like to be switch on and here as well uh, uh, as uh, same as above what output you will like to be switch on when your value of a here s a is c0 and s b is c1 so it means the value of a is the value of counter 0 the value of b is the value of counter c1 all right so what output you like to be switched on here when your a will become higher than b and the same here so I'm going to put my outputs here for example y0 I would like to switch on my y0 when my value when my both value will become same and y1 when a value will become higher than b and y2 when my value of b will become higher than value of a so I'm going to simulate here to test my this circuit alright okay so here is C0 is uh, 
right so here um, because our c0 uh, value is higher than c1 so it is performing the action and giving us pulse to y1 when i will click and i will enable uh, the i will g uh, put a signal here to become same value so here a is equal to b so our y0 is switched on so it means this comparator is just comparing these two things and performing its actions what we can use here to perform more output to perf to, 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 to switch more outputs because for example I like I would like to switch on Y0 to Y4 when my A will become equal to uh, my B right when both counters will become same I would like to energize Y0 to Y4 so what, I, what would I like to uh, put here is just a memory I will use M0 here right and then I will use M0 terminal normally open of M0 and I will use several outputs I can use here to be energized when my M0 will be switched on okay so here for example y5 I would like to be switched on so when so let me check here when my y1 will become to y2 our output of our this memory will be switched on and this memory will switch on these two things let me uh, test this because our c0 is 2 and c1 value is 3 so I have to put a signal to become it 3 alright so as you can see our memory is energized and memory is energizing these outputs as well we can use uh, now these functions to perform our uh, uh, I mean our industrial condition so that is how you can use this comparison in your PLC program alright so it's uh, I'm going to stop my PLC and simulation so here is we have circuit and you can use comparison here as well according to your condition and your need thank you